One of the most popular and common questions that I receive is definitely, what shaders are you using? Along with this, a lot of people ask how to install shaders in general, so I'm going to kind of do a little tutorial on how to do that and kind of answer both questions. So the shaders that I use are the Chocopic 13 pack. Now there's all kinds of different packs along this, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and switch to my desktop to show you guys exactly how to install shader packs and where to find them, specifically the Chocopic 13 pack. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you have a shaders mod installed in the first place. This is required to use shader packs. I actually have a tutorial for both 1.9 and 1.10 Minecraft out for shaders mod. A kind of a shaders mod slash optifine tutorial, but you can click on the screen now and get to the latest one. Uh, you will find a link in the description as well. So make sure to go follow those tutorials before you follow this one. But if you already have it installed, then what you're going to want to do is go to whatever search engine you're comfortable with. In my case, I use Google. I don't know why you would use anything else. <laughs> and just type in Shaders Pack or Shader Packs Minecraft. Now, you can add in uh, a version number at the end. However, I always feel this limits the results uh, right off the bat. And just typing Shader Packs Minecraft is perfectly fine. In fact, they usually work on any different version. Now, you can see here, for example, Sonic Aether's Unbelievable Shaders uh, shows up. This is a very popular, um, it used to be mod. I believe this actually might be a mod. Uh, nope, definitely a shader pack. But this is uh, probably one of the most popular shader packs. And uh, it says to download the GLSL shaders mod, but this isn't up to date yet for 1.10. And the Optifine shaders is perfectly fine. It will work with that. But just basically search for a shader pack that you want and go to where the downloads are and download whichever version you want. There usually are different versions. For example, Standard, Ultra, Ultra DOF, or Depth of Field, uh, Ultra Motion Blur. And I actually got a comment regarding these. The only difference is essentially what comes with them. Usually the higher and better they sound, the more intensive they will be on your computer. So make sure that you go with something fit for your device. I use light because I like the closest to original Minecraft as I can get with all the extra little you know, side features that shaders give off. So light is always the one I usually go with. But this is not the shader pack that I use. This is how you basically install a shader or find a shader, for example. But we're actually going to go back and click down here. You'll see Chocopic 13 shaders. I've already got this open over here, so I'm not going to have it, you know, duplicate uh, or whatever. <laughs> Two different tabs. I've already got it here. And there's a link for this pack in the description below. As I said, I always get asked what shaders I use. So what I do is go to the Chocopic 13 forum page. You can find this simply by searching Chocopic 13, but there's also, as I said, a link in the description. Now you could select one of these versions, however, these are the old versions, and uh, there are better versions available. The light version is the one I've always used, but I'm sure you've always noticed that there have been little tears in the video uh, on a lot of my old tutorials and LP episodes. This is because this version has an issue with tearing. What I do to resolve that is go here, beta versions and older versions. So click this, that'll take you through an add focus link, uh, which will eventually lead to this Mediafire uh, shared documents folder. Now, I always click this one, Chocopic 13, V5 beta 5.11, no sh shadows request. This is the pack that I used. It's essentially the same pack as the light one, just slightly different. So what you're gonna do click it and that'll take you to Mediafire. You're going to download that wherever you need. I'm just going to download it to the desktop. And what we're going to do next is go ahead and close our browser. Again, links for those in the description below. And now we have the shader pack. If you open this up, if you don't have WinRAR, don't worry, you don't need it. But if you open it up, uh, you'll see that there's a shaders folder and then a whole bunch of F A F A oh God, I can't talk. F S H files and V S H files. Uh, this is pretty much the shaders. Th these are all the settings. You do not have to tamper with these, though, actually. You can find them, uh, or you can install them, basically, by opening up a folder. Let me drag this over here. And typing percent app data percent, and you can see it's right here, percent app data percent. And then dot Minecraft. 
shader packs and yours will likely be empty if you don't have any pre-installed but you basically just want to where is the file <laughs> little hiding guy right there okay uh, so just drag it over just like that I've already got it so we're gonna skip that uh, but basically just drag it on over and from there we can load it into Minecraft so let me open up Minecraft and I will kinda give you an example of how to select it uh, once this gets started here alright simply enough I'm gonna go to multiplayer just so we have a little uh, world to sit in alright so you're gonna click escape options video settings shaders and then you're gonna select the shader pack now what I always do with this particular pack is go to the shaders options and turn on these settings so go ahead and stop the video now and you can see what shaders I use uh, this offers a very nice clean uh, playing experience but that is pretty much how I install shaders and shader packs and uh, that is my favorite shader pack the Chocopic 13 pack I have been using it for quite some time and I definitely recommend it anyways guys I hope you've enjoyed if you did please make sure to leave a thumbs up and if you like minecraft content please consider subscribing I've got ton of it coming out and ton of it already available anyways guys my name is System Z. you have been awesome I'll see you in the next one